I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Real Expert. I'm getting this question a lot, or a variation of it. Steve, if I eat carbs at night, is that going to affect my HGH production? Steve, if I eat carbs at night, will that spike my insulin and affect my HGH production? If I eat carbs at night and I have insulin and HGH present at the same time, how are they both going to get into the cell and is this a problem? And then when I go to bed, will my head explode? So I ask my buddy, who is an orthopedic surgeon, a guy who deals with muscles every day and he's a bodybuilder, and I said, Ron, with regards to HGH and insulin, what's the scoop? He said, you know, Steve, HGH alone doesn't do all the miraculous things that people think it does. It doesn't make you super big. It doesn't make you super strong. It doesn't improve your eyesight. It doesn't necessarily improve your skin. It doesn't turn back the hands of time. All that stuff. We have seen studies where guys take HGH. They don't get any stronger, but they seem to get a little bit bigger. We have seen studies where when you combine HGH with insulin, there's a synergistic effect, meaning the insulin somehow draws the HGH into the cell, and there's a little better effect. He said, now when bodybuilders combine HGH, insulin, and testosterone, again, there's a synergistic effect. All three of them seem to work well together. But he said, you got to remember, if you take tons of testosterone, you're going to get great effects as well. He said, so you got to remember, these guys are, are stacking a variety of drugs and they probably aren't quite sure which one is actually doing the most benefit. And I said, well, that makes sense. And then he said, you know, if a guy's natural, he doesn't really need to worry about all that stuff. The body will take care of itself. He says, why don't these guys just lift hard and lift heavy? And I said, you know, I probably should mention that. I'm Steve Tarano, Train Smart. Train hard.